Hi, my name's Ian Burley. I'm the editor of Digital Photography Now, and I'm very lucky to be in this idyllic paradise, which is the uh, coast of Croatia in the city resort of Split. And we're here to witness the launch of Sony's new compact system camera range. Uh, sometimes we call these hybrids, and here it is, the Sony Alpha Nex 5. There's also a Nex 3 model, which is cheaper. And uh, talking of price, Sony seem to have um, priced their new cameras very aggressively. I think they're going to give their competitors, uh, Samsung, Panasonic and Olympus, something to think about. This is a system camera, so it has interchangeable lenses. I'll just take this one off here. Huge lens mount. And there are three lenses to start off with. The 55, 18 to 55 standard lens, which is the one here. We have the 16 millimeter pancake, which is very small and light. And there's also going to be an 18 to 200 uh, super, super telephoto to wide angle lens. The, the camera body is now the smallest and lightest in its category. The Nex 5 has a magnesium alloy body, so it's a very high quality body. Uh, and there is a large high resolution tilting screen. It tilts but doesn't flip out. Uh, it uses an APS-C sensor, so uh, should be very high image quality. The lens is quite large on the body. Uh, I think that we're going to see quite large lenses dominating this very small body design. On the top here we have uh, a flash, which is actually detachable, and it's supplied uh, for no extra charge in the box. It's quite clever when you flip the flash up, it switches it on. Um, the, the camera is very much aimed at people upgrading from compacts rather than from people who are wanting a, a small and lightweight alternative to a DSLR. And this could be an Achilles heel for people who want the DSLR alternative moving down because the menu system and the controls are very much orientated towards compact users. So it's rather if you want to change the ISO speed, for example, you have to really dig deep into the menus, and there are very few external buttons. No, no dedicated buttons for, a, for an ISO speed change, for example. The uh, control does have a very handy wheel, which uh, also operates as a four-way pad. The two buttons here are soft buttons, so that, that means that uh, uh, they are context-sensitive according to the menus uh, that you're in. The whole interface reminds me very much of a mobile, mobile phone, a smartphone, and that means uh, I think this camera could really do with um, a touchscreen, like the latest generation of smartphones, iPhones. Maybe we'll see that in the future. Um, overall, um, the camera is very, very small, very, very light, and it's going to really shake up the market. It's not perfect by any means. Um, uh, it doesn't have an electronic viewfinder option, which is going to put off a few people. The menu system, as I said, is debatable. We're still wondering how people are going to um, deal with that. Uh, there are some very clever features in here. Um, it has 3D recording playback, or at least it will do uh, soon after launch when uh, we get a firmware upgrade, and you'll be able to play back 3D on a 3D capable TV. And uh, this is a modification of Sony's quite clever um, sweep panorama system, which is a system whereby you can take widescreen panoramas um, simply by keeping the shutter press and moving the camera around. That's all I have now from Split. We'll have more on the NEX system in the coming weeks, and I hope you'll see uh, the sample pictures which uh, we've just uploaded onto the site. Um, they're free for you to download and evaluate. They're full-size images. We have 42 in all. And uh, we're very much looking forward to our review sample, which we're promised is, is going to be arriving quite soon. Thank you very much.